God's message for you today. Don't quit. It may be going slow now. It may be quiet now. It may look like you will never see your breakthrough. Don't let the devil lie to you. Don't be discouraged. God has a plan for you. Put faith in the Father today. Comment, yes, if you believe in God. Whether you give $10 or $1,000, every dollar of yours goes directly toward delivering transformative moments to women around the world. It's true that sometimes progress can be slow, and it's natural to feel discouraged when things aren't going as quickly or smoothly as we would like. However, it's important to remember that setbacks and challenges are a normal part of life's journey. It's during these times that perseverance and faith become crucial. Believing in yourself and maintaining a positive mindset can make a significant difference. Trusting in a higher power or having faith in a greater plan can provide comfort and strength during difficult times. Sometimes, taking a moment to step back, reflect, and refresh yourself can help regain clarity and focus on your goals. Remember, breakthroughs often come when we least expect them. Stay committed to your dreams, keep learning and growing, and trust that things will eventually fall into place. Don't let discouragement or negative thoughts hold you back. Keep pushing forward and embrace the journey, knowing that brighter days may be just around the corner. If you're facing specific challenges or need guidance in a particular area, feel free to provide more details, and I will do my best to offer assistance or support. God has his hand on you. Good things are coming. Progress is coming. Don't quit. You are approaching your dream faster than you realize. But first, the universe is asking you to release the burden surrounding your finances and have faith that everything is working out. Having faith and believing that things will work out can indeed help us navigate challenging situations. Releasing burdens and worries surrounding finances is a wise suggestion. Sometimes, it can be beneficial to assess our financial situation, create a plan, and take proactive steps towards achieving our goals. Remember that progress and success often require persistence and perseverance. It's important to stay focused on your dreams and keep moving forward even when faced with obstacles. With dedication and hard work, you can continue approaching your dream. God is doing something spectacular for you. It will be excitingly abundant and above all you could ask or think. Don't give up. Your life is getting better and better. Sometimes it's easy to lose sight of the bigger picture when faced with challenges and setbacks. But in those moments, it's important to remind yourself that a better and brighter future lies ahead. God's blessings for you are not ordinary. They are extraordinary, exceeding anything you could ask or imagine. The most incredible and awe-inspiring things await you and know that what awaits you surpasses even those grand visions. Your life is about to fill with joy, abundance, and fulfillment beyond measure. So stay strong, keep your head held high, and work confidently in the direction of your dreams. Your future is bright, and there is so much goodness and beauty awaiting you. Embrace the journey, embrace the process, and know that God's plans for you are beyond magnificent. Imagine, if you will, a season as this, so filled with God's grace that every step forward is guided by His hand, every challenge faced is an opportunity for growth, and every moment is steeped in the potential for miraculous change. As we greet each day of March, let us embrace it as a month rich with the potential for new beginnings and flourishing aspirations. It's a time to reflect on the profound spiritual journey ahead of us. This isn't just another month. It's a divine invitation to experience life-changing breakthroughs and blessings. Think of each day as a seed capable of sprouting into a testament of God's faithfulness. As the earth renews itself, so too can our spirits be rejuvenated, infused with fresh hope and new strength. This March, let's open our hearts to the possibilities of what faith, trust, and surrender to God's will can bring into our lives. If you believe that God can make a difference in your life this month, let us stand together in faith, believing that God will move mightily in our lives. Make listening to this prayer every day of this month a part of your daily routine as you build your faith while anticipating the blessings that God has in store for you. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. I and the gentle unfolding of the days of March, we are reminded of God's unwavering promise that He is continuously at work ushering in new blessings into our lives that emerge as unexpectedly as the first blooms of spring. 
With the arrival of each morning, we are embraced by His unwavering mercies as fresh and invigorating as a new dawn. Isaiah 43 verse 19 reminds us, Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. This verse affirms God's continuous work in our lives. Alongside this, we are also comforted by Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 23, which assures us, saying, Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Let us hold these promises close to our hearts. Let them be the guiding light through each day of this month and beyond. My friends, as God unfolds a fresh chapter in your life this month, anticipate blessings beyond your imagination. Ephesians 3 verse 20 reminds us, Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. As we stand on the threshold of this new chapter, uplifted by the promise of divine blessings, let us also turn our hearts toward the horizon of breakthroughs. Just as we are encouraged by Ephesians 3 verse 20 to anticipate blessings beyond our imagination, let this assurance propel us into a realm where barriers are broken and limits are surpassed. In this sacred space of expectation, let us hold fast to the belief that with God, every moment is ripe with potential for transformation and victory. The concept of breakthrough is not just a fleeting wish, but a divine promise waiting to unfold in your life this month. Picture yourself standing before vast seas, with faith as your staff, ready to part the waters. The obstacle that once seemed insurmountable will become pathways to victory. Breakthroughs are born from moments of steadfast faith and unwavering trust in God's timing. Let this month be your moment of crossing over, leaving behind the wilderness and stepping into the promised land of your destiny. Joshua 1 verse 9 encourages us, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. The month of March calls for a declaration of freedom and deliverance from every form of bondage and evil that has tried to hold you captive. Deliverance is God's hand extended in the darkest nights, His power setting you free from chains unseen. Like dawn breaking upon the night, God's light is ready to shatter the shadows, offering a way out where there seems to be none. Stand firm in your faith, for deliverance is not just a possibility. It is your inheritance as a child of God.my friends. As the earth breaks open to reveal the first signs of spring, so too can healing break through the hard ground of hurt and illness. Healing flows from the very heart of God, a balm for every wound and a remedy for every pain. This March, let hope rise within you like the springtime sun, warming places that have been long cold and forgotten. God's desire is to see you whole, to mend what has been broken, and to restore what was lost. Embrace His healing touch, for it is as sure as the sunrise. Jeremiah 30 verse 17 tells us, For I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds, says the Lord. As you navigate each day of this month, know that you are surrounded by God's safeguarding love and protection. Protection in this new month is as a fortress built around you, a shield that no enemy can breach. The same God who watches over the sparrow is attentive to your every step, guarding you from seen and unseen dangers. Walk confidently into each new day, for you are covered by the Almighty Shadow, a place where fear cannot reside. Psalm 91 colon 4 reassures us, He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. My friends, the month of March stands as a beacon of hope, a testament to the enduring love and power of God at work in our lives. It's a time to sow seeds of faith and to expect a harvest of miracles. As the natural world around us bursts into life, let us also look for the signs of spiritual renewal and growth. Each day is a canvas painted with opportunities for blessings, breakthroughs, deliverance, healing, and protection. Let this month of March be your turning point, a period of extraordinary transformation that sets the tone for the rest of your year. With God by your side, there's no limit to what you can achieve. Philippians 4 verse 13 declares, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This powerful assurance reminds us that with faith in Him, our possibilities are boundless. Remember, the same power that raised Christ from the dead is at work within you, ready to do immeasurably more than all you ask or imagine. March forward with courage, for you are destined for greatness.
surrounded by God's blessings and favor. As we embrace the fullness of what March has to offer, let's do so with hearts open to the transformative power of God's love. Ready to receive the abundant life that He promises, let this month be a testament to His faithfulness. As we walk in the fullness of His blessings and breakthroughs, propelled by divine motivation towards the destiny He has ordained for us, not all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. And remember, you should also listen to this prayer each day of this month as you come in agreement and build your faith. It's a daily commitment to seeing God's hand move in every aspect of your life. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, the King of kings and Lord of lords, He who was and is and is to come, You are the Almighty and everlasting God, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I stand in awe of Your magnificent glory and power, acknowledging You as the Creator of all things and the Sustainer of life. Your greatness and majesty fill the heavens and the earth, and Your wisdom is unsearchable. You are worthy of all praise, and Your love endures forever. Lord, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and praise. Thank you for your unfailing love, your boundless mercy, and the countless blessings you have poured into my life. Lord, thank you for the precious gift of life and for guiding me safely thus far. Your faithfulness has been my shield. Thank you for the promise of new beginnings, for the hope that springs eternal with the dawn of each day. May my heart always be attuned to your grace and goodness as I navigate the days ahead. Merciful Father, I confess my sins before you, those known and those hidden in the shadows of my heart. I ask for your forgiveness, and with a heart made free by your grace, I also forgive those who have trespassed against me. Lord, help me to release any harbored bitterness and resentment so that I may fully embrace the freedom found in forgiveness. That I seek your guidance each day as I navigate the paths you have set before me and as I encounter the challenges of life. Enlighten my path with the light of your wisdom and lead me in decisions that align with your will. Grant me the discernment to recognize your voice amidst the noise of the world and the boldness to follow it without hesitation. In every situation, may your guiding hand be upon me, directing my journey towards paths of righteousness and peace. I, in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that confusion and doubt will not derail my journey. Father, I stand firm in the belief that your wisdom will be my compass guiding every step I take towards the destiny that you have ordained for me. Lord, I seek your provision in every aspect of my life, trusting that you will supply all my needs according to your riches and glory. Grant me the wisdom to steward your blessings wisely and the faith to believe for abundance in areas of scarcity. In your grace, open the doors of opportunity and pour out your provision so I may reflect your generosity in my life. I pray for healing, Lord, in every part of my being. Heal my body from illness, mend my heart from brokenness, and restore my spirit from weariness. I stand firm on your promises of healing and restoration, and with faith, I claim complete healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your divine healing power flow through every cell of my body, rejuvenating my mind, heart, and soul. As I receive your healing, let it be a testimony of your unfailing love and compassion, not just in my life but also in the lives of my loved ones who are in need of your touch. I, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke and bind every form of bondage and declare deliverance over my life. I declare that every chain of addiction, fear, and any form of oppression is broken in the name of Jesus. I rejoice in the freedom that comes from your saving grace, knowing that whom the Son sets free is free indeed. May your hand guide me, bringing breakthroughs even in the barren areas of my life. Lord, I ask for your divine protection to be a shield around me and my loved ones. Guard us from the schemes of the enemy, from dangers seen and unseen. In the powerful name of Jesus, I rebuke every attack aimed to harm us, trusting that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Your faithfulness is our armor and protection, and under your wings we find refuge. Lord, as I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. Almighty God, you are the rock of our salvation. We come in agreement seeking your face, asking for your hand to move mightily in our lives. Bless us, Lord, with your holy presence, fill us with your spirit, and lead us into a deeper relationship with you. Together we claim victory over our challenges, we declare healing over our bodies and minds, and we celebrate the peace and joy found in your love. 
Merciful Father, we stand against the spirit of poverty and lack in our lives, and we welcome the spirit of prosperity and abundance. I, in the name of Jesus, we declare that we are blessed to be a blessing. And as vessels of your blessings, we become channels through which your abundance flows to enrich others. We pray for divine wisdom and discernment in every decision we face. Lead us by your spirit to walk in paths of righteousness. Shield us from deception and guide us into all truth. Grant us understanding and clarity to navigate life's challenges. Open our spiritual eyes to recognize the hidden traps and snares of the enemy and bestow upon us the wisdom to avoid them. Heavenly Father, we come before you seeking your divine protection over our relationships and interactions. Guard us from toxic relationships, manipulative individuals, and those who intend to cause harm. Surround us with the warmth of godly friendships, the wisdom of mentors, and the counsel of advisors who will uplift us on our faith journey. Bestow upon us the discernment to gracefully navigate the complexities of different personalities and relationships while we maintain a posture of love, grace, and forgiveness towards all. Almighty God, we call upon your strength and power to help us stand firm against the wiles of the enemy. In unity, we resist every temptation and commit to walking obediently according to your word. Protect us from the unseen battles of spiritual warfare. May your host of angels encamp around us, guarding our every step. We seek your divine protection over our words and actions, that we may be vessels of life, sources of encouragement and edification to those we encounter. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we are protected in our comings and goings. We declare that everything is working for us and not against us. We are grateful, Lord, for the assurance that your goodness and favor will be with us every step of the way. Let your peace that surpasses all understanding carry us through this month. We thank you for all that you have done and for all that you are about to do. Let your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Imagine embarking on a journey through an unknown landscape where each step forward is an act of faith and each breath a whisper of hope. This journey is not marked by the visible challenges of towering peaks or vast oceans, but by the internal battles that we face. It is marked by the moments of doubt, fear, and uncertainty that cloud our path. Yet, it is in these very moments that a profound truth emerges, a beacon of hope in the darkness. God is for us. He is the compass that guides us, the light that illuminates our path, and the strength that carries us forward. Today, we will delve into understanding how to find strength in the Lord and be assured that He will never fail us. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. In Isaiah 41 verse 10, we find a promise that anchors us. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This verse is not just a comforting thought. It is the very essence of God's promise to us, an assurance that no matter the journey, we are never alone. Together, we will discover the means to navigate life's uncertainties, fortified by the knowledge that God's presence is ever with us. Now, as we journey through life, we often encounter terrains that test our faith and resolve. These moments filled with uncertainty can make us feel as though we are journeying through a thick fog, each step uncertain, each decision filled with the potential for misstep or the risk of error. Yet, it is precisely in these moments of vulnerability that God's promise to be with us, to guide and strengthen us, becomes most tangible. Life's journey is unpredictable. We face challenges that seem insurmountable, problems that appear unsolvable, and questions that seem unanswerable. It is in these times when the fog of uncertainty surrounds us that the weight of our own weakness becomes most apparent. However, it is also in these times that the strength of God's presence shines brightest. The story of David and Goliath is told in 1 Samuel 17 verse 45 serves as a powerful reminder of this truth. Facing a giant, David declared, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. David's confidence did not stem from his own capabilities, but from his faith in God's power. 
Like David, we are called to face the giants in our lives not with fear, but with the assurance that God is with us, providing the strength we need to overcome. This journey through life, with its highs and lows, is not a journey taken alone, but a shared journey with God as our constant companion. His promise to be with us is not just a reassurance of presence, but an assurance of active support. In moments of weakness, He provides strength. In times of doubt, He offers faith. And in periods of turmoil, He grants peace. Philippians 4 verse 13 captures this beautifully. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This verse is a testament to the transformative power of God's strength in our lives, a reminder that regardless of the challenges we face, we possess the capability to overcome them, not through our own might, but through the strength granted to us by Christ. As we navigate the uncertainties of life, let us remember that we do not walk alone. The fog of doubt and fear may at times cloud our path, but the light of God's presence is a constant guide. His word the compass that directs us, and His strength the foundation upon which we can build our resilience. In embracing this journey, let us draw near to God, seeking His guidance and strength in every step. Let us trust in His promise to be with us, to strengthen us, and to uphold us. And as we do so, let us find comfort in the knowledge that no matter the challenges we encounter, we are journeying with the Almighty God who never fails us. Let us now explore the practical implications of God's favor and guidance and how His presence empowers us to face life's adversities with strength and confidence. As we journey through life, it often feels as though we are navigating a vast, uncharted wilderness. The terrain is rough, the paths are unmarked, and the destination seems distant. It's in these moments of uncertainty and struggle that the presence of a guide can make all the difference, a guide who not only knows the way, but also walks with us, offering support, encouragement, and direction. This guide is God, and His promise to be with us is a testament to His unfailing support. Consider the words of Romans 8 verse 31, which boldly declares, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? This verse is not just a rhetorical question, it's a declaration of divine support. It reassures us that with God on our side, the challenges and adversaries that we face lose their power over us. The realization that the Creator of the heavens and the earth is for us should fill our hearts with courage and our steps with confidence. This simple truth changes everything. It means that no matter what we face, we are not overwhelmed because our God is bigger than our struggles. Knowing this, we can face anything, understanding that with God, we are always in a position of strength. This reassurance helps us stand firm no matter what comes our way, confident that we are never alone or without help. Now, this assurance of God being for us is not meant to suggest that our journey will be without challenge. Rather, it is a reminder that when we encounter obstacles, we do not face them alone. The battles we fight are fought with God's strength, and the victories we claim are won through His might. Just as a seasoned guide leads a traveler through treacherous terrain, God guides us, offering His wisdom and strength to navigate the complexities of life. The practical application of this truth is seen in our daily lives. When we face decisions that leave us perplexed, God's wisdom is available to guide us. When we encounter situations that threaten to overwhelm us, His strength is sufficient to sustain us. And when we feel isolated or abandoned, His presence is a constant companion, offering comfort and reassurance. But how do we tap into this divine support? The key lies in our relationship with God. Just as communication is vital between a traveler and their guide, so too is our communication with God. Prayer becomes the medium through which we express our fears, our hopes, and our needs. And it is through the study of His Word and the leading of the Holy Spirit that we gain insight into His character, His promises, and His will for our lives. Furthermore, the journey of faith is one that requires trust. Trust in God's timing, trust in His promises, and trust in His character. It is a trust that is built over time through experiences that testify to God's faithfulness and goodness. Each challenge overcome and each need met serves as a milestone in our journey of faith, reinforcing our trust in God and His provision. This journey, though personal, is also shared. 
As believers, we are part of a community of faith, a family of fellow travelers who share the road with us. This community offers support, encouragement, and accountability, reminding us that we are not alone in our journey. It is within this community that we find opportunities to share our stories, to celebrate our victories, and to encourage one another in times of struggle. As we reflect on the assurance that God is for us, let us also consider the response that it calls for from each of us, a response of faith, of trust, and of obedience. The faith that God is who He says He is, the trust that He will do what He has promised, and the obedience to His guidance and commandments. It is through this response that we experience the fullness of God's support and guidance in our lives. Therefore, let us carry with us the assurance that God is indeed for us. Let this truth anchor us in times of uncertainty, strengthen us in times of weakness, and guide us in times of decision. For with God on our side, we have nothing to fear. We really don't. Remember, the devil is a liar. Let us move forward in faith, confident in the knowledge that no matter what we face, we do not face it alone. God is with us, He is for us, and through Him, we are more than conquerors. We will now turn our attention to the transformative power of embracing God's strength in our lives. Throughout the course of our daily lives, we encounter various forms of adversity, moments that test our faith, challenge our resolve, and sometimes threaten to overwhelm us. It's in these moments that the true depth of our reliance on God is revealed. The realization that our strength alone is insufficient is not a cause for despair, but an invitation to lean fully into the strength that God provides. This reliance on divine strength is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to our understanding of where our true power lies. The Apostle Paul's words in 2 Corinthians 12 verses 9 to 10 serve as a profound reminder of this truth. He said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly I will rather boast in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. This seemingly contradictory statement highlights the core of Christian strength. We do not take pride in our own power, but in God's. Our weaknesses and obstacles turn into opportunities for God's strength and grace to shine through in our lives. Embracing God's strength requires a shift in perspective. It means viewing our challenges through the lens of faith, recognizing that with God, no obstacle is insurmountable. This shift doesn't negate the reality of our struggles, but places them in the context of God's greater power and purpose. Again, it's an acknowledgement that our journey through life is not undertaken alone, but in collaboration with the divine, where our efforts are enhanced and completed by God's power. This divine partnership empowers us to approach life's battles with a different mindset. Instead of being overwhelmed by the magnitude of our challenges, we are encouraged by the knowledge that God is with us, fighting for us, and through Him, we have victory. And remember, this doesn't mean we won't face difficulties or that our faith won't be tested. What it does mean is that in the midst of our battles, we have a source of strength that is inexhaustible, a well of courage that never runs dry, and a promise of victory that is certain. Living in the strength that God provides also has a profound impact on how we relate to others. It compels us to move beyond our limitations and to act with compassion, courage, and conviction. As we experience God's strength in our lives, we are motivated to be agents of His love and grace in the world around us. Our battles, once seen as personal struggles, become opportunities to testify to God's power and to offer hope to others facing similar challenges. My friends, let us also consider that our God is unchanging and unfailing in nature. His steadfast love and faithfulness are our constant companions through every season. To truly grasp that He is for us, we must also understand that He will never fail us. And in so doing, we must understand His character. God is not like humans who might make promises only to break them when circumstances change. God's promises are as unshakable as His very nature. When He commits to being by our side, He means it for eternity. 
This assurance enables us to be confident that He is for us and face the uncertainties and challenges of life with a calm heart and a steady spirit, knowing that regardless of what we encounter, God's support remains unwavering. Living with the knowledge that God will never fail us transforms the way we approach every aspect of our existence. It allows us to take bold steps of faith, to dream big, and to pursue our God-given destinies without fear of abandonment. When we stumble or fall, as we inevitably will, this promise offers us the strength to rise again, dust ourselves off, and continue the journey. It's a reminder that our failures do not define us in the eyes of God. Rather, His unfailing presence is a testament to our inherent worth and potential in Him. Therefore, let us carry forward the assurance that no matter the trials we face or the mountains we must climb, God's presence and support are guaranteed. God is for us. He is with us every step of the way. His promise is as reliable as the dawn. In every moment of doubt, every season of struggle, and every celebration of victory, may we remember this. Our God will never fail us. My friends, let's carry with us the empowering truth that resonates at the heart of our message. God is for you. So be strong in the Lord. He will never fail you. In every step of your journey through the highs and the lows, remember that you are never walking alone. The Lord stands beside you as a steadfast guide, offering His strength, His love, and His unwavering support. Let this knowledge fill you with courage and hope. When you face the mountains of life, look to Him, draw from His infinite strength, and move forward with confidence. For in the Lord, you have an unshakable support, and with Him, you will navigate the challenges of life not just with endurance but with victory. Be strong in the Lord, my dear friends, for He will never fail you. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you with a heart full of thanksgiving and praise. I acknowledge your greatness, your majesty, and your sovereignty over all creation. You are the Rock of Ages, the King of Kings, and Lord of Lords, worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. Your power is unmatched, your wisdom and love are boundless. I worship you, Lord, for who you are, my fortress, my deliverer, and my strength. Lord, I give you thanks for the gift of life and for the countless blessings you have poured into my life and the lives of my loved ones. I am grateful for your mercies that are new every morning and for your grace that sustains me. Thank you for your unwavering presence and for walking beside me through every trial and triumph. Lord. I ask for your forgiveness for my sins, for the times I have fallen short of your glory. I also choose to forgive those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness or resentment in my heart. Cleanse me, Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. Father, I stand on your promises, drawing strength from your word. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I rebuke the spirit of fear, doubt, and discouragement binding them in the name of Jesus, and I claim faith, hope, and love in my life. Lord, empower me to be strong in you and in the power of your might. Fill me with the wisdom, courage, and strength to face life's battles, knowing that with you, victory is assured. I decree healing over my body, mind, and spirit in the name of Jesus. I pray for your healing touch upon my loved ones. Mighty God, I stand against every attack of the enemy, praying against sickness, depression, financial lack, and strife. I claim protection over myself and my loved ones, asking you to shield us from all harm and to guide our steps. Bless us, Father, with your favor and peace, and may your healing hand touch every area of our lives that needs restoration. Lord, as I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement, standing united in faith as we pray for each other. Strengthen us, Lord, to overcome every challenge with grace and to walk in your ways. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, guiding us into all truth and empowering us to live lives that honor you. Bless us, Lord, with your presence. May we experience your profound peace, joy, and love in abundance. Protect us from the snares of the enemy 
and let your hand be upon us for good. We declare your lordship over our lives, claiming victory over every battle, healing for every wound and sickness, and provision for every need. Let your will be done in our lives and in the lives of my loved ones, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Curious to discover more life-changing insights like these? Then dive right into our next video. It's a journey you won't want to miss. Click on the video and let's keep the universal's wisdom flowing.